Hi everyone, it's a beautiful, wonderful, lovely day here in Connemara in the west of Ireland and this is Terry from Danu's Irish Herb Garden and um, I'm just here spending a lovely Sunday morning in the polytunnel because um, I've noticed there's a lot of work needs to be done and even though I'm in watering every day, sometimes until you plan to come and do the jobs, you just don't realise the scale. So the other day, my son-in-law was sent here to get some greens for our salad and he came back saying, wow, the polytunnel has gone crazy. And um, he couldn't get over the growth, the rate of the growth, the scale of the growth. And I think he felt just a little bit overwhelmed because, you know, in a confined space like this, you really can feel the presence of some being, an entity, a spirit. It could be Mother Nature. It could just be the spirits of the plants, but there's definitely an atmosphere. Look at the flowers on the borage. There is definitely an atmosphere of something happening in here. And um, I've come to have a look, and of course, I see it every day, but I I'm just busy watering. So yeah, everything's coming up lovely and growing well. The lemon tree has blossoms on, so hopefully there's going to be some fruit this year. The um, sage is just erupting over the path. Here are some poppies that I didn't get around to pulling out. And now that they're in flower and they look so stunningly beautiful, I just can't bring myself to do it. So hopefully they're this far down the polytunnel when the wind blows it won't disperse the seeds quite so extensively as it did last year i've got more borage here that's just self-seeded and the the amount of flowers on it and these nasturtiums which i originally planted to um, as a companion plant to stop green fly affecting cucumber that was here that year they've just gone crazy and they've self-seeded and they're trying to dominate this polytunnel and take it over. But I'm going to have to take some of these out for sure because I need the space as I've got lots of things languishing in pots waiting to come in. I'm glad to say the rosemary is thriving. Lemon verbena is in leaf and looking beautiful and smelling lovely. And um, I've got lots of thyme, which seems to be doing well. And the chives, look at all the flowers there. But this area needs a good weeding. There's lots of horsetail and cleavers. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the horsetail and make a tincture with it. So I'm just going to collect as much horsetail as I can, pull it out of the beds and um, I'm going to make a tincture because the horsetail, even though it's a noxious weed, as some people say, it is a very beneficial medicinal plant. And I, I think it's an interesting plant because when you um, think about the doctrine of signatures and um, the belief in the past that God put a sign on each plant so that we'd know what to do with it. If you look at horsetail, it's lots of little joints, little joints and little knots at the joints. I don't know if you can see clearly on there. I'll get a better example. Um, so I would think that it would be very good for joint pain. And sure enough, it is. Here, look, I'll show you this one. All those little joints and little knots where new stems um, or, and where the stem is growing on, it leaves a little knot. So it's full of silica, so it will help tendons and um, ligaments. So it, it, in that way, it will, it will help joints. And it's also very good for the urinary system and for the skin, hair and nails. I mean, there's, you know, you pick any plant and there's no end to the virtues as the... Um, 16th century herbalists would say. So now I'm just going to cut a, my bunch of horsetail and put it into a jar ready to make a tincture. So here's my jar now full of um, chopped up horsetail 
and I decided to make the tinctures down here because I have to collect Californian poppy and passiflora as well. So I thought instead of running up and down to the kitchen each time I harvested something, I'm going to just make it here. It's, it saves time and it's nice to be out in the fresh air. Now, usually, not usually, but many herbalists will just cover their plant material with a menstruum such as, well, an alcohol or a vinegar. I use 40% uh, vodka. But the constituents of the herbs can be extracted by water as well. So, you know, when you make a cup of tea with a herb, when you infuse it for 15, 20 minutes to get the medicinal properties, um, the water is doing the work. So the plants have um, water sol soluble and alcohol soluble constituents. So they don't all need to be covered completely in alcohol. So I brought a jug of water as well. And horsetail doesn't need a lot of alcohol. So it only needs about 30%. So I'm just going to pour in the alcohol until we get to, I don't know, is that about 30%? And then I'll fill it up with water. and cover the plant material. Just give it a stir and a poke about to make sure that there's no air bubbles. I'm just gonna put a little splash of alcohol in on the top and I'm gonna put in a little splash of water to bring it up to the rim. And that is it, you put on your lid I um, hope that's tight. Give it a shake. And then you write the on your label. I've got my packet of labels here. So you write down the plant, the alcohol water percentage and the date. I've got more horsetail here, which I'm going to dry so that I have dried horsetail for tea. And then you can also put this in your bath and it will help relieve joint pain. So that's how simple it is. Now, when I make the Californian poppy tincture, that only needs 50-50 of alcohol to water. And when I make the passiflora, the passiflora needs more alcohol. So it'll be the opposite to the horsetail. And there you go, that's it. So um, I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. And I'm going to carry on here. And after that, I've got all the vine leaves to harvest and blanch and put them in the freezer so that in the future I can make delicious stuffed vine leaves. One of my favourite snacks. Oh, I'll have to take up some more lavender as well when I get chance. Although it is nice to see the bees buzzing around it. But um, I better get on. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe and please have a look at the website danusirishherbgarden.com and you will see that there are lots of herb courses available and um, a couple of herb books for sale that you might like to treat yourself to. And um, I will see you next week. Bye bye.